We are not in the business of excuses. We are in the business of making sure that we can grow kids. That was the Darius Lannis, the president of the East Baton Rouge School Board. This follows a heated discussion last night on whether the board should renew the contracts of five charter schools. According to leaders with the EBR school system, two of those schools are in bad shape after considering a national issue with academic progress. All five of those schools will remain open. Our Miranda Thomas is here with how the board plans to help those schools improve. Keeping up with East Baton Rouge school system requirements has been tough for South Baton Rouge Charter Academy, but things are looking up. Traditionally, the school has been a D school. Uh, at the opening, it was an F school. So this is the first time since the inception of the school opening since 2014 that we've actually crossed that C mark. Carlos Sam is the deputy state director for Charter Schools Louisiana. He says analyzing student work on a consistent basis is what helped them raise their scores. We're looking to kind of just grow from there. Um, you know, my philosophy is people, not programs. And so we think that we have the right people. We're gonna, gonna, gonna continue to look for the right people. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands. Charter schools are public schools ran by private organizations who have to meet the same standards as other public schools. And if those standards are not met, the school will be removed from the school system. The South Baton Rouge Charter School was able to catch up, but other schools were not so lucky. Emerge and Idea Bridge are still considered failing and on the line for closure. We are not in the space to try to harm or hurt anyone. We want to make sure that education is a top priority for everyone. However, some of the schools that we did approve last night did uh, receive corrective action. That means that they may not be doing as well as other schools, and we want to make sure we keep a fine tooth eye on what they are doing inside of that process. On Wednesday, a total of five Louisiana charter schools were up for a routine renewal. The school board gave them three more years to show improvement. Uh, we were very clear last night. If you are a charter school and you are not approving, I'm sorry, you are not improving in your scores and you're not improving the lives of students, when you come back in three years, it's going to be a totally different conversation because we are not in the business of excuses. We are in the business of making sure that we can grow kids. Rather than a six-month check-in, the school board will start doing quarterly check-ins to make sure schools are following accountability standards. One that will not hurt them, but will benefit the school and will also benefit the students, but will also give us an, a, a real true read of what's happening at the school so that when we do meet with them, we have an understanding of, are you truly hitting your marks? Lanus tells WAFB the current system they are using will eventually phase out and the board will come up with a whole new set of standards. As for South Baton Rouge Charter Academy, they hope to continue building their academy. And so this spring, obviously, uh, they'll be given the state tests. And so uh, we're hoping that that C that we've made last spring, uh, we won't drop, that we'll actually make more gains. The National 